it, it wasn't actually supposed to be a company initially mm. from the first line of code. I didn't know this. It actually was supposed to be a video series. So I was a teacher at night part-time, like teaching very basic how to make websites, you know, transitioning from writing tutorials on my websites in 2005 to actually teaching at night, starting in Los Angeles and now New York City at that point. And I realized that there was this gap where these kind of code boot camps or part-time classes end and where production-ready software really begins. There's a canyon that these newcomers, beginners to software engineering have to cross. So I was actually, I sought out originally to make a video series on how I would approach building an application from scratch. And that application that I chose to build was Fire Hydrant because I was trying to kind of kill two birds with one stone. I was, I wanted to build something I could use in my job, which was an incident response management tool while also recording a video series that I was actually planning on monetizing. I got about 40 hours into recording, which is why I even have this mic boom is because I was recording that <laughs> series with all the curse words included. And I, I had a friend eventually say, what you're building, Fire Hydrant, is far more valuable than the videos that, that you're making and producing. And I kind of took a look and I'm like, yeah, you're wow. 100% yeah, thank right. You. Thank you for doing whoever I can't... <laughs> If you ever hear this and you're that person, like, please tell me because I owe you something.